Hi everyone, it's Terry here from nutsaboutstamping.com. I'm going to show you a really fun and unique card layout idea using the beautiful world stamp set and the corresponding world map dies. You can actually buy this as a bundle and save yourself 10% rather than buying them separately from the annual catalog. So recently, I participated in a group of Stampin' Up! demonstrators. We have a private Facebook group, and because we can't meet face-to-face -face right now, the group got together and decided they were gonna do a virtual Facebook event, and one of the demonstrators showed this really fun card, and it's called Peek Through the Middle. So I thought I would share it with you because I think it's really cool. So I'm going to have my card base be Misty Moonlight. And what you want to do is you want to cut it at five and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then you're going to score it on the long side, the longer side at one and one quarter. And that is going to be the card base. So this is where it gets really unusual and really fun. Now to this card base, I'm going to add a strip of the World of Good Designer Series paper. I love this paper, I love this product suite. I bought everything I possibly could in the World of Good product suite. I just think it's fabulous. And so I'm going to use my adhesive and I'm going to attach this strip of paper to the top like so. And then I am going to uh, use a piece of very vanilla as the insert for my card. Now this is what is sort of unusual because I always say stamp first and then add your paper. But for this card technique, you actually need to attach your paper so that you know where you're going to stamp. All right, so. I've got my very vanilla, and then I'm going to fold this strip down, and then I'm going to bring in the phrase that says, Adventure Awaits, and I'm going to use my Misty Moonlight ink. This just arrived this week, and so I thought it would be fun to stamp with it. So I'm going to ink up the phrase. Always turn over your stamp and have a look, and that way you know that you've got ink on everything. And I'm going to stamp my phrase over on the left side of my insert for the card, and you'll see why in a second. I'm gonna leave my ink out. I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. I'm going to bring in a scrap of Very Vanilla, and I've got the little globe stand, and so I'm going to ink that using the Misty Moonlight and I'm going to stamp that down, and then I'll clean my stamps after the video is over. And now I want to do some die cutting. So I have got this stand, and I'm gonna die cut out the stand. I have, from the uh, world map dies, I've got the circle die, and I have cut a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock and I'm going to die cut the circle out. And then I have the, um, the globe and I've got one of the brass foil sheet leftover pieces and I want to die cut the globe out of the brass foil. And then I have a scrap piece of very vanilla and I have one of the rectangle, rectangle stitched framelits dies, and I want to die cut a rectangle out of very vanilla. So let's do that. And then we'll be a step closer to completing the card. All right, the beauty of using a die cutting machine is that you can die cut everything at once most of the time. I think it depends on the size of your cardstock and how warped your plate is. Mine is quite warped. It's been well loved. Okay, so I have these all on here. 
and then I'll lay on the top sheet. I'm gonna hold everything in place and run it through. I have my pieces all die cut and ready for the next step of making this card. So what I'm going to do is use some mini Stampin' Dimensionals and my Take Your Pick tool. And I'm going to pop up the globe off the circular base. And I'm just gonna use a couple of mini Stampin' Dimensionals. That's all you really need to use. And it will hold lovely. So I'm gonna attach that there. And then I have this die cut stitched rectangle and I'm going to add a scrap piece of misty moonlight um, on top of it. Now this is your choice to do and you'll see why I'm saying it's your choice because next I'm going to add my globe and you can see that you really can't see the misty moonlight backing on the misty moonlight base, but I can add another Stampin' Dimensional or two. I had just turned around to look for my regular sized ones and I don't see them, so I'll just use a couple of the minis, which is fine. And I'm going to attach my stand flat. I just want it to be sort of centered vertically speaking. So I'm gonna add my stand and then making sure the world is straight, I'm going to add the globe. So you can see it's got the little, the, the layers like so. And then I'm almost ready. So the next thing I want to do is I have a scrap piece of Misty Moonlight that is the same length as my card base, and I'm going to attach another piece of the World of Good Designer Series paper. So I'm almost creating a twin to the original, but this one is freestanding, like so. And here, then, I am going to, this is eventually going to be attached like so. So I'm going to use my tear and tape adhesive and I think this is what makes this card really special is I'm going to add a strip of tear and tape at the top of the globe layer and a strip at the bottom of the globe layer and I'm not going to put any adhesive in the middle because if I do it'll ruin the effect of the card and Going to set that down like that and then I'm going to lay my strip down making sure that the globe is the right way. So I'm going to lay it down like this. I'm going to fold this down and then using the line in the pattern paper I am going to attach the globe like so. And then you get a really cool card idea that has the phrase peeking through the middle. And that's why it's called the peek through the middle card technique. Isn't that cool? I think that's fabulous and it's fun. And I can see that I will be making a lot of these in my near future. If you would like a complete list and the measurements of everything I used for this card, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. And if you want to purchase the Beautiful World Bundle and the Matching Designer Series paper, I'll link to my online stores in the description box for this video, and that will save you time and trouble. You'll have the product numbers that I've posted throughout the video, and you'll know what to buy so that you can make this card at home. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I hope you'll create something super cool today too. Bye for now.